Hello there guys, um, welcome to this segment of the X-Files video game playthrough. Just wanted to do this quick little intro here. Um, in the X-Files booklet here, in the back you have the credits and just uh, along the line of the production, you can actually type some of these names into your computer on the game and it comes up with some of the people who helped create the uh, video game. So on this part, I'm going to actually um, type in um, executive producer Harley Evelyn and it brings up the um, person, the uh, producer of the video game. So I'm going to do that in this part to just show you as part of just a bit of fun. Again, with the other part, you don't have to do it, it's just an extra thing to do in the game. So I hope you enjoy this part, guys. Hello guys, this is part 4 of my X-Files video game playthrough, so let's get, uh, let's load the save game. Did you get the did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live, unfortunately. Until Shanks gets a hold of me. Oh. Well, we better see if anything's missing. That's your phone. Do me a favor, will you? Answer your damn phone. My head already hurts bad enough. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in DC. Uh, I completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. I'm afraid I got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Well, let's hope it's not as bad as it looks. <sighs> yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah? Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. More good news. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. So, what happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear. Then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. 
I told you about Wong? I just forgot, I guess. Okay, guys, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, there's um, the X-Files booklet that comes with the game, and you can actually search for the executive uh, producer on your little computer here in the office, so we'll do that, and we'll send the uh, information to the colleagues, you know, your colleagues like Skinner, Mark Kirk, and different stuff like that. Okay, I'm just going to look in the back of the book here and find the name I mentioned in the intro to the video. Um, let me see, found it. So apparently, this here is the producer of the X-Files game, but as a bit of fun, she's listed here as a criminal, which I find quite funny. So I am now going to send uh, this info to my colleagues as a bit of something just fun to do. So um, let's do it here first. And now we uh, send. So that's that. And now we need to go back to the dockside warehouse and see um, what happened to James w uh, Wong because he got shot. Um, so we'll go off and do that now. Also, uh, just to quickly mention, there's this book here we found in Mulder and Scully's, um, in Mulder and Scully's motel room. Now, I was supposed to give it back to the motel clerk, but I actually forgot to do so. So, if she's there, we'll we can go and give it to her now, but if she's not, then we're stuck with this book. So, let's go and try and do that first. she's not here so we're stuck with that book now so anyway let's go off to the warehouse sorry chief it's a crime scene no civilians Look, I'm not going to tell you again. This is a crime scene. Understand? No civilians. Sorry, should have said something. I can't read your mind. Well, congratulations, old-timer. I don't know what you were doing, but you just warranted the involvement of the federal government. Lucky you.
Any idea what happened? No. Any thought on motive? Robbery'd be my guess. Ask Aster Dorian. It's her case. Can I get some copies of those? Sure. Give me a name. Craig Wilmore, FBI. No problem. It'll take a couple days. So what have you got? Well, Agent Wilmore, barring any unexpected revelation, looks like somebody shot this man in the back of the head. Have we met? Yeah, we both worked on that kidnapping last year, remember? Sorry. No problem. It was a big team. So what was the time of death? Well, preliminarily, I'd say he's been dead for about six hours. So that would make the time of death early in the AM. What caliber weapon was used? Big, 45 looks like, maybe a 357. Hit him in the mastoid bone. That's that big, spongy mass of bone behind a ear. It shatters more easily, so there's an inordinate amount of damage. A lot of bone fragments get driven up into the brain. That's where Oswald hit JFK. I take it you subscribe to the lone gunman theory. No, I think aliens killed JFK. Any sign of a struggle? Nope. Either he was totally surprised or he knew his killer. I gather there were no witnesses. I don't think so, but you better check with Detective Astadorian. Medical examiner doesn't get much chance to interrogate bystanders. What can I do for you? Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? I'm investigating the disappearance of two agents. Okay, so what's the connection to this man? An investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside we found evidence of foul play. Including the blood of one of our missing agents. I spotted Wong, asked him a few questions about the warehouse. He lied to me. Now he's dead. I'm not certain what the connection is, but I'm pretty certain there is one. I'll buy that. Interesting. This case just went from routine to fun. Thanks. Anytime. So, what have you got? Harbor Master found the body. He was shot once in the back of the head. Large caliber by the looks of it. No witnesses. No sign of struggle. That's it? So far. So, where's the harbor master? Gone for coffee. Have you questioned him yet? Nope. Next on my list after search boat. Any thoughts on motive? Robbery, most likely. So, what was stolen? Haven't quite gotten there yet. Just about to go onto the boat. Well, robbery seems unlikely to me. Didn't look like the old guy had much. Probably true. But you'd be amazed at what people will kill for. He probably had a cigar box full of cash. Unless maybe he was killed for squealing to the feds. I wish I thought that was funny. Well, Wong didn't exactly run with the most desirable crowd. Any reports of trouble in this area? No. All's quiet on the waterfront. That's too bad. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to just pin this on gang activity and be done with it? All right, looks like it's time to board the good ship Agrippa. Care to join me? Answer me this. 
this? Where'd he put his fish? What? His catch. Where'd he put his catch? There's no freezers. Hell, there's not even an ice chest on board. So where'd the fish go? And by the looks of it, those are some pretty serious gas tanks down there. Did you know fish stocks have been declining in this area recently? No. Where'd you pick that up at? Wong told me yesterday. Ah, oh, well, there's a reliable source. So, what's your theory on the hold? My guess is that Wong was not quite what he seemed. I think this boat was being used for something other than fishing, which certainly puts a spin on his murder. Searching around the boat of James Wong. With what looks like a dead frog in there.
Did you know Mr. Wong was taking stolen painkillers? What the hell are you talking about? I found a cache of pills in his cabin. No prescription labels, obviously stolen goods. Industrial state quantities, too. How interesting. Well, that certainly adds a sordid little wrinkle to things, doesn't it? So, still think the motive for his murder was robbery? Let's just see what the autopsy reveals, all right? What's the Terracon? What? Terracon. What is it? I don't know. Why? I found this slicker in the cabin labeled the Terracon. I guess it's the name of the boat. No, no, no. This boat's called the Agrippa. Well, I guess that adds another mystery to your list, doesn't it? I'm finished. I'm going to take Wong here for his free ride. Ask her to give me a call when she's finished. Okay. It was a pretty easy morning. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Well, oh, the harbor master's returned. Well, hello. I wish you told me there was two of you. I'd have brought another coffee. That's all right. Agent Wilmer here is trying to cut down. Well, still, I could have brought your decaf. Who owns this warehouse? It's leased to a company called Majestic Shipping, out of the Far East. Could you give me a phone number? Well, depends on which number you want. They got offices in Hong Kong, Chechnya. So, which number? The main number. No, no, these guys don't quite work like that. But it's okay, I'll, uh, I'll get you all the information I have. Just, uh, fax it to me. How long have the fish stocks been declining around here? Oh, a while now. Overfishing's the most likely cause, but it's, uh, it's gotten a lot worse in the past couple of months. Most of the small guys gone out of business. Wong's the only one still holding on. Or he was. How do these boats normally store their catch? Well, usually they got what they call a uh, a live well in the hole that uh, keeps water circulating over the fish. Uh, some of the bigger outfits will have a refrigerated holding tank. Any idea why Wong's boat would have neither? No, no, I don't imagine he had the money to upgrade something like that. Um, that'd have to be done in a dry dock anyway. That's, that's pretty strange, really. I, I don't know why. What's the Terracon? Uh, Ocean-going tug. It uh, burned at sea two months ago. Really? Why would Wong have a slicker from the Terracon in his cabin? Well, I don't know. Don't think he knew those guys. Uh, they were Russian. Maybe he picked it up as scrap after the fire. I think I remember hearing something about that. The crew all died, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Boat's over at the impound dock. You want to take a look? How long have you known Wong? Oh, a few years. Started docking here in 94, I think. Yeah, early 94. Did you notice anything unusual happening here last night? No, nothing at all. In fact, it was real quiet. Did Mr. Wong have any enemies? I don't think so. I, I would say no, but, uh, hell, these days, I don't know anything anymore. Did you know if Mr. Wong had any financial difficulties? No, I don't. I always paid his birth fees on time. 
Of course, things have been hard on everybody around here lately. I imagine he was feeling it, too. Well, why don't we go take a look at the Terracon? Well, sure. Yeah, it's not far from here. Come on. Seattle. Anyway, uh, the Coast Guard cutter, the Stalwart, saw a fire on the horizon, rushed out there. By the time they arrived, it was too late. The entire crew had burned to death. How many men were on board? A total of nine. Although only four bodies were recovered, the rest were presumed lost at sea. What was the cause of the fire? Never determined. They have no idea. Look at that. Fire damage seems to be contained to the outside of the hull. The cabin in the interior don't seem to be burnt at all. Okay, so what's your point? Well, how was the crew killed by a fire that only burned the hull? For that matter, why did the fire only burn the hull in the first place? <laughs> you got me. You're the detectives. Uh, look, do you mind if I go? I, I got a lot of forms to fill out. You know, uh, when there's a dead body, wow, paperwork. Sure, you can go. I'll call you if I need anything. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Well, it was nice to meet you, and I'll fax you those phone numbers. Well, looks like it's just you and me. Okay, guys, this is going to be it now for this part. So, um, until next time. Next time we're going to go and search around the Terracon here. So, from me to you for now, this is it. So, until part five, goodbye and take care, guys.